वेलकम टू जेनेसिस इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ फ्लूइड पावर कंट्रोल सिस्टम सो फ्लूइड मींस गैस और लिक्विड इन फ्लूइड पावर कंट्रोल सिस्टम वी यूज बोथ एयर एंड ऑयल सो इट इज एन एसेंशियल सिस्टम फॉर ऑटोमेशन in almost all all industries starting from automobiles to any that is uh, automation of uh, movement of uh, devices and actuation of devices so all this uh, will be covered in this video so let us uh, move on to what is a power system so power systems are used to transmit and control the power from one place to other place so these systems are used to transmit the power mechanical power electrical power hydraulic power pneumatic power all these powers so what are the types of power systems so the power system can be classified as mechanical electrical and fluid so mechanical power systems electrical power system fluid power system in fluid power system so i am not going to discuss on these things so i am discussing only fluid so in this uh, we have two branches one is called hydraulic the other one is called pneumatic generally hydraulic means water but in automation water is not used so it is not useful it is uh, difficult to control or automate the process and the other thing is pneumatic in this uh, we use uh, air in this uh, we generally use uh, oil hydraulic oil so if uh, hydraulic is considered so you may come across uh, one is called uh, hydrostatic and uh, hydrodynamic so hydrodynamic means uh, that is uh, pumps uh, all these things uh, we use uh, hydrodynamic in this uh, hydrostatic so hydrostatic means any length of the column of the air or oil we can treat them as a static that means the pressure applied at any point of the liquid column is same and is being transmitted and we can the liquid column can be treated as a rigid body like so that is why it is called hydrostatic so the movement of the fluid particles is not constant we assume that it is static so that is about the classification in mechanical means we use belt drives gear drives all these things so that is called mechanical drive and we have electrical power that is also there and the couplings we use so these are the systems but we may in this video i am restricted to myself to hydraulic so here, here hydraulic means oil only so i don't uh, we don't uh, study hydrodynamics okay we treat this uh, total process as hydrostatic next to what are the fluid power systems so fluid power systems so generally one is called fluid transport system that is a pumping station for pumping water to homes and cars country gas lines so gail and ongc will look after this and this is a fluid transport system so for this we use pumps also and the other one is called fluid power systems so in fluid power systems the work is obtained by pressurized fluid acting directly on a fluid cylinder or a fluid motor so in this case first our aim is to get the pressure so 
the pressure is submitted or imparted to the fluid that fluid pressurized fluid will uh, move the uh, fluid power cylinders or motors so that we can get the automation so we concentrate only on this part called fluid uh, fluid power systems or fluid power control systems so anything can be called next one is basic components of hydraulic power systems first is prime mover so prime mover is initial uh, that is things which may move the, the other parts so for that we sometimes provide electrical motor in in house applications and ic engines for outside applications so ic engines means internal combustion engines so these are used to rotate the pump or compressor so pump in case of hydraulic compressor in case of pneumatic so if air is used that system we call it as pneumatic if oil is used we call that as hydraulic so what is meant by pump so pumps essential function is to pressurize to pressurize the fluid so the force the fluid from the reservoir to rest of the hydraulic circuit by converting mechanical energy into hydraulic energy so pump main purpose pump gets power from motor so the pump gets power from motor so the motor will supply mechanical energy in the form of rotation and the pressure uh, the pump will able to pressurize the fluid right that is why pump is mainly used to, to convert mechanical energy which is uh, obtained from motor and uh, its uh, ability to convert the hydraulic energy so hydraulic energy means uh, either that is pressure and discharge so that can also be called as hydraulic power next one is uh, actuators so these are the so for to to move these items or to activate these items we use power pressurized fluid that is supplied by the pump okay that is run by the prime mover so the prime mover will move the pump so the pump will move this actuators so the in this this converts fluid power into again mechanical power so actuator purpose is fluid power also called as hydraulic power into mechanical power next to so i am giving you only brief uh, introduction and i will uh, explain detail in coming videos so next to very important part of this uh, hydraulic circuit so called fluid power control system so is control valve that is why we are calling this fluid power in as fluid power control valve power systems so first one is directional the name indicates direction so it will direct the fluid right so uh, in what direction the fluid has to move into the cylinder or into the tank or into some valves all these things will be controlled by directional control valve you understand my point so the control it controls the direction of the fluid that is the point next one is pressure control valve so this i can remember like as dcv and it is pcv so pcv means control the pressure system that means if the pressure is reached the set pressure then only you have to open or otherwise you stop the fluid it will direct the directional control valve also okay so to have that one at what pressure the system has to work you understand so we have different branches in the fluid power or otherwise the circuit so to operate these different 
parts of that circuit we incorporate several pressure control valves directional control valve also there sir there are so many control valves in this case also there are so many pressure control valves so first we have to understand what is the directional control valve it simply directs the direction of the fluid it controls the pressure of the system the pressure at which the device has to operate or at which the circuit has to operate the next one is a flow control valve so the flow control valve controls the volume volume of the fluid how much how it, it restricts the the amount of the fluid so this, this is mainly to have the speed at what speed the cylinder has to move if the cylinder has to move we have to supply more that is q that is flow flow rate will be controlled by flow control valves so the area is fixed because we fix the uh, pressure that is pipelines cylinders all these things so if you supply more q you will have more velocity so this is a velocity this is a pressure this is a direction very important so to master this subject you have to have more knowledge on control volumes or valves so next one is a reservoir where we reserve or place the oil okay so this is all about control valves next one is filters so it will filter the that is return if there are any uh, foreign matter or dust like material so will be collected and the fresh oil is uh, enters into the tank and there that is it is to remove any foreign particle so as to keep the system clean so we have to provide this so next one is piping so these are the carriers of the fluid okay so it carries the oil from one place to other place next one is seals so this will restrict the leakage of the oil so seals so numerous number of seals are there so used to prevent the leakage of the fluid first you have to understand the important words this is very important so that you can understand if you know the importance of the seals then you can add up to different types of seals for your operation next one there is also called one more called strainer so the strainer also uh, filters some uh, particles or something so so that it won't allow the this one so here also we can put some other also it's the only basic hydraulic circuit so circuit is nothing but connecting the all the all the devices like pressure control valve flow control valve directional control valve through pipelines so our our aim is to move this weight that is to lower this weight or to our that is to raise the weight so this is our task so to operate this cylinder we have incorporate all these items just now we have studied filter uh, pump that is motor pressure control valve directional control valve flow control valve and this is actuator so this is actuator and our purpose is to that is raise or the somebody will put it uh, some raise uh, load on that and it will lower the load so that others can pick up that load so that is all about uh, this circuit see how the fluid moves it starts its journey from the strainer and passes through filter and pump pressurizes the fluid and it goes to pressure control valve and if any the difference is there it will go to the that is we will connect it to, to that is outlet and so that uh, this will be in other purpose okay so that is about to hydraulic circuit so i will explain so don't miss this opportunity to watch the if uh, thank you for watching this video 
I am suggesting you to subscribe this channel so that you can get very good videos on this fluid power control system.